Okay guys, so it's finally over. Island 2 has officially ended. Producing the group is now with seven members instead of six. I'm happy for the girls, of course, but I think it was extremely rigged. Also, just a disclaimer, anything I say in this video is not supposed to be hate nor is it supposed to offend anyone. These are just my opinions and feel free to have your own and I'm sorry if this offends you in any way. I'll be going over my general opinion about the survival show as a whole, my opinion on the final lineup, and my dream final lineup. I Land 2 was actually the third survival show I watched as the episodes were releasing instead of after it ended, and I'm really glad I did. The first thing I'm going to say about this show is how rigged it is. I kinda already knew it since they started favoring Jiyun in like episode 4, and also in the one-to-one -one position battle. You could already see the favoritism when they chose my over Yuju, like come on, and then even more so during the first save vote, when Yui and Lingling were eliminated. Even if Lingling isn't my favorite, judging by Lingling's popularity, I was really shocked that she only ranked 10th. But then again, she doesn't really have the biggest Korean fan base. Yui though, yes, I've always known she wasn't the most popular, but I think it was unfair that she didn't make it, but I think it was just due to popularity, since it was a safe vote and that's why they didn't make it so, that's why I let it slide, and didn't call the show rigged immediately, but this favoritism only got worse when part to started you, could clearly see the evil editing, towards Yuju and Jungkook. like in Lovesick Girls you could, clearly see that Yuju's mick was quitter, than everybody else's mick like listen, to this, Girlie is fighting for her life here. And then you hear Coco's mitt. Oh yeah, and also, how did Jungkook get a low score? Duh. And for Yuju, it's not just it's a low pitch and that's why it's more quiet while well, listen to this. She is practically screaming into the mic, trying to be heard since they made her mic quieter. Jungkook got evil edited too. They kept ranking her so low even though she did great. Like what do you mean the producers only gave her an 80 for her. If I were a boy performance, listen to these vocals. This too. Number 7, Jang CB. Okay, so actually, I wanted CB to debut as the seventh member in my original lineup. I really, really like her and I was upset. Only six could debut and since I wanted my top picks to debut so badly, I had to put her in seven. So I'm really glad CB could debut. I love her stage presence and she is talented as well. It's just, I just don't know who would be the sender between CB and Jimin but I'm really happy for CB. Number 6, my. I have really mixed opinions on this. So, I'm happy for her of course, but I feel like talent-wise she isn't really ready to be an idol yet, compared to maybe Fuko or Yuju. The producers said they saw potential in her and room for her improvement. But if she has potential and should work towards it, wouldn't it be better to let her stay as a trainee for a while longer to improve and then debut her? Like, I feel like Yuju and Fuka were definitely ready to be idols, but my, not so much. She has potential, yes, and she's improved greatly on the show, but there 
is still a lot of room for improvement. The producers should have let contestants who were already at the stage to debut to be in the group. Yes, I love her visuals and her work ethic, but none of those are really associated with talent. I thought they learned what happened when they picked visuals over talent already. I'm not saying she's talentless, by the way, but I feel like she was picked more for her personality and looks, which kind of overshadowed her vocals and dance, which still could improve. Number 5. Yu Sarang Again, I also have mixed opinions on this. I love her, I really do but I feel like during part 2, her impact kinda went downhill. Like yes, she has good vocals and she is really good at dancing. But in part 2, her vocals weren't as stable and you could see she was struggling in the high pitches in her lines not that this is a bad thing. Like, I know Jimin also struggled and stuff, but I kinda wanted Fuko to debut instead cause she is literally lead or main vocal material with no struggle to hit high notes. But also, Sar Aang can rap as seen in the final. Number 4, Coco. Now, this is where it gets good. Everything from places 1 to 4 were already in my ideal lineup. I'm so happy for Coco. I really love her she is such an all-rounder. She was the best dancer. She can rap but we still need main rapper Yuju. I mean you too. But Yuju made it to finals and she can sing I'm not letting you guys forget her high note from final love song. I'm not going to lie. I underestimated Coco in part 1 probably only because she had part 6 in Panorama and I didn't pay much attention to the dance units. But I feel like she proved herself so much in part 2. Number 3, Yoon Ji Yoon. Okay, I'm pretty sure we all expected 3J to debut, and they were also my top 3 so I'm really glad. I really love Ji Yoon. I think she improved so so much on this show and she can sing really well we need stable vocals here, and we got it. I'm really glad that Jiyoon and Jungkook could debut together, because I would've been heartbroken that after they made up and got close again, they would be separated. That's not the case though, since both made it to the final lineup. It's just, yes, Jiyoon and Jungkook are together now. But what about Fuko and Jiyoon? Now they can't be together. And also, the vocal duo can't be a vocal trio since Fuko isn't there. But I guess maybe Serang could fill in for Fuko vocal-wise, but she doesn't have Fuko's range or ability for flawless high notes. Number 2, Bang Jimin. We all expected her to debut, and I certainly wanted her to debut. Like, come on, she was robbed so much on Are You Next? And she finally got her rightful treatment on I Land 2. The only thing is, I'm shocked she ranked second. I'm happy for Jungkook, but I kinda wanted Jimin to get first cause she deserves it so does Jungkook though and it kinda shocked me too. But then again, I think what happened was that everyone was like oh Jimin is going to debut anyway so why vote for her? And it kinda gave me Sung Hanbin vibes. When he ranked first for every single save vote and then ranked second in the final. And the fact he was the one announcing this too. He must have felt deja vu. Number 1. Choi Jungkook. I'm so happy. She has actually always been in my top 1-3 to three picks since the start of the show. And after being neglected so much and being ranked low. I'm glad she could finally rank first place and debut. There's a reason she was ranked first amongst the contestants in the start of the show. She can sing, dance, and even rap. Like, who wouldn't debut her? I actually started to get scared that a repeat of Jiwoo would happen to Jungkook, that even if she was the most talented contestant, she wouldn't debut since the producers kept ranking her low like they did to Jiwoo. But I'm really happy for all the members that got to debut. Now I'm going to give the group positions that I think would suit them. So overall, I'm not extremely mad with this lineup, I'm pretty happy for the most part. Okay fine maybe I'm a bit salty about it but I'm sure it'll grow on me just like Illit's final lineup did. I was so angry Jimin and Jiwoo didn't debut. But I like Illit now so yeah, I'm sure I'll warm up to Izna. Not that I hate it right now though. I'm mostly just said Yuju and Fuko didn't debut. Anyways, so our vocal line would obviously be Jungkook and Jiyoon, who could both pass as main vocalists. 
but maybe Jiyun could be lead. I also want to add Sarang to the vocal line, since she also has pretty good vocals. Remember how she was the main vocal in Whistle and did the high note? So I think she could pass as lead vocalist. For rap line, obviously since Yuju isn't here Coco will have to be the main rapper. But I remember seeing somewhere that CB can also rap, so maybe she can be a lead or sub rapper. And Sarang and Jungun rapped in the final, so we can definitely add her to the rap line. For dance again, main dancer is Coco, and lead dancers could include Sarang, Jungun, Sibi, Jimin, maybe more Jungun and Jimin than Sibi. For center, obviously the main candidates are Sibi and Jimin. I feel like Jimin is more likely to be center, but it also depends on concept. Possible leaders include Jimin, Jiyun, and Mai, since they're the oldest and have leader qualities. So now I'll give them the positions. Number 7, Jang CB. Number 6, Puka. Number 5, Nam Yuju. Number 4, Coco. Number 3, Yoon Ji Yoon. Number 2, Choi Jung Goon. Number 1, Bang Ji Min. Contestants who deserved better. Yui, Nam Yuju, Fuko, Kim Minsal, Kim Soo Jun, Um Juwon, Sun Juwon, Kim Jury. I Land 2 is always going to be a great memory for me. I look forward to supporting Inza and I will always support the other contestants in their future careers, whether they pursue becoming an idol or something else. Thank you, I Land 2, and I will always be a faithful I mate.